Nate. How's it going everybody at home? I'm some guy named Nate. Here's Martyr's Love Addiction. It is three days past the last episode. I kind of forgot what was happening. But here we go. However, after hearing that Mr. Kyo was had been the one to take the initiative to clean up my mess in the hallway. Oh really? So she's the one who cleaned up my pee? So in the last installment, uh, there was a girl who peed herself, so to make her feel better, we peed on her pee. I remember. I've come to the realization that the classmate the chief had mentioned before was her. Eek! I feel so bad! And undeniably embarrassed. Mm, but I loved your pee. Smooch. Or whatever she would say. And off we go. Also, by the way, guys, I got so many cool announcements uh, to talk about later, but it will happen later. You guys should just stay tuned. Hmm. Stuff. Cool stuff happening. I'm really hyped. Then when the day's training finishes, it's time to go home. I'm going to sleep. Asuka. As I stepped out of the hospital, I heard, hear her call out from behind me. I turn around. Oh, there's that star again. I see it transposed on her figure. My heart gives a small jolt. Uh, what is it, Miss Sakuya? Having heard Miss Sakuya had been the one to clean up after me, I am so embarrassed I can't stop from showing it on my face. I'd like to think the evening sunset helps to hide the color. I can't stop my eyes from going down to her fingers. Are they lithe and beautiful? Uh, fingers that would look perfect playing the piano. Fingers that belong to a lady of class, and those fingers had to clean my pee. Wow, great sentence writing there. Miss Akuya looks at me seriously, yet somehow there seem to be traces of a smile. What? I'm glad I cleaned your pee. Just maybe? Huh? You might just become a good nurse. Hooray! Her voice is gentle. Squee! I am happy. So, so happy. For some reason, it almost it, bleh, it is almost enough to make me cry. Wah! I'm weeping. I had to clean up some... No, someone else cleaned up my pee. I'm sorry for peeing my pants in the hospital. Well, okay. It's okay. That night, I write and write my apology letter. This is tough. Hey, now. Hmm? What is it, sis? Hmm? Do you really think I can write a five-page apology about me peeing myself? To top it off, after this, I still have to write a report... Re uh, requested by the chief. I really don't even want to think about it. D -d Do your best, sis. But I don't wanna. Willpower zero. Hmm. I got a text. Oh, it's from Yuki-chan, as she said. What? Oh, we got dogs barking and we got my dad working on some housework outside. So if you guys hear a lot of noises, I'm sorry. <coughs> sorry. <coughs> now I'm just. <coughs> I'm fine. After what had happened, Yuki had been taken to her hospital room where she had her body wiped and changed into her nightwear. Tired from everything that had happened, she had fallen asleep and I had been very unable to say goodbye when I left the hospital. It was one thing that I had regretted not being able to do, so I quickly opened the message. The subject reads, to the jellyfish club manager. Ooh, that's me! Aha, cheeky girl! I say cheerfully, when I had been talking to her in her hospital room about my life, get out of my life, ah, oh, die, die, die. As a nursing student, I had ended up telling her about the jellyfish club I had started in high school. Yuki had laughed as she listened. I read the message. I just woke up. Really? The words that followed were short. Dot, dot, dot. Thank you for today. What does that mean to become a nurse? Or what does it mean to become a nurse? I still have no idea, but inside my heart, something had begun to twitch into life. I'll take my time and write her a response later. <laughs> now. Oh, sis, you suddenly have a really positive attitude about you. Alrighty then. Let's take, let's quickly take care of this apology letter. I'll say everything I have to say in my own words about peeing my pants. Sounds good. Pants peeing can sometimes function as a bridge to connect hearts. Oh, okay, that's not even an apology anymore. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I'll flush out an apology. You know, especially since I peed my pants. Get it? Flushed? Is that a pun? Uh, reprimanded, reprimanded by now, I write it properly afterwards. Both the apology and the report take until the morning. I hardly get to catch a wink of sleep. Damn. And then hire somebody to redecorate because, damn. 
So I guess that's the name of the game in Japanese. So that's what she says between sections there. First term, midterm exams are over. Whatever that means. I'm done! The bell sounds, and after collecting the final test papers, Miss O'Hara says a few words. My body trembles, and I get a slightly teary-eyed. Good job, sis. Smooch. Miss Asuka Osashi, a sense of freedom is nice, but remember to stay alert. Miss O'Hara says with her angelic smile that according to the test results, I may have extra lessons to attend during the summer holidays. Ouch. But... But that's okay. I have made it through the long and painful first term midterm exams. At least for today. I won't allow anything to ruffle my wings of freedom! At least for today. I'm sure you'll be able to kick back. But remember, to do everything in moderation. Wink. Saying this, Ms. O'Hara gathers test papers into a bundle and leaves the classroom. So ya! As if that were the uh, uh, the cue, the classroom erupts with excited voices. I look at now. She's putting her pencil case away and preparing to go home. I keep my gaze on her like, hmm, look at me. By the way, now, here's a pop quiz for you. Wait, crap. By the way, now, here's a pop quiz for you. Huh? A quiz? Yeah, bitch, a quiz. Drum roll, please. How do you say the English word from in Japanese? I don't know. I think the word from is something like Kerano. Sh shorten it, shorten it. Kara? <laughs> hey, it went ding, 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 ding. N the bingo. Now the second question. Drum roll, please. Now it looks at me as if I've gone slightly mad. When someone says something, what single word do you use to agree with it? I'd say hi. Hello, roadies. I'm some guy named Nate, and I'm back from a jump cut. <laughs> I had to help my dad with something, so now we're back to play this. Yes. Close. The other one. <laughs> okay. Correct. All right. Now, when you say the first and second answer together, what does it turn into? Oh, karaoke. Kara, okay. Repeat it. Yay, karaoke! Now says this blankly, and then she laughs a little. Sis, it's odd. I suddenly want to go sing karaoke. Oh, that's odd. I want to, too. The best way to celebrate finishing those tasking tests has got to be karaoke. I confirm once again how great a sister now is uh, as she goes along with my charade. But now... Do you mind if I invite them along? Huh? The other members from our group, dummy. Yeah, why not? We've been through this together. I'm all for it. Hooray. And so I was able to receive Nao's blessing. First of all, I asked Machi and Michi, who are sitting a few seats in front of us. But we've already made plans. Bleep. Oh no. Oh, where are you going? We are going... We're gonna go clubbing and pull an all-nighter. Why are you gonna go clubbing? Get out of here. The two of them say that together as they look at each other for confirmation. Whoa, that's a whole other world to mine. In that case, I can't... It can't be helped. Can't be tamed a ding eating. Next, I ask... Hot girls. The hottest of hot girls. Hot girls. Car like karaoke. I was wondering if you guys wanted to come along. You know, the place near the station. Hmm, sounds good. Count me in. One, two, three, four. There was a lonely... <laughs> what about you, Mr. Kuya? Karaoke? Well, our gazes fall on her, and Mr. Kuya thinks for a while. Just because she's a high-class girl, there's no way she doesn't know about karaoke. Maybe she has other plans. But if she has plans... Then I would assume Miss Itsuki wouldn't be available either. Miss Sukuya, who had lowered her gaze to her desk to think, suddenly lets out a little sigh. <sighs> Alright, I don't have much interest in singing, but let's go. Yay! Yeah! I strike a small pose of triumph. Like this! <laughs> Time to bring out Asuka's greatest hits. And I mean it. I want to hear them. 
I want to hear the greatest hits and then see the greatest hits karaoke. It's a place for fun and to play hardball. It's a place where the song and singer, yours truly, use the karaoke machine to clash in earnest. It is a heated battlefield. We are young. Ding, 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 ding. Heartache to heartache. We stand. Ding, 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 ding. It doesn't matter whether you're good or bad. All that matters is that you sing your heart out. Points? Who cares about that? You just need to sing big with your heart and everything you have. I'm good at karaoke in the real world, everybody. But I want to see cute girls sing karaoke tunes. That alone will raise the singers, yours truly's energy. Open their heart, energy, energy. I'll just be running all the time and allow them to have fun. Brondo the Thirst Mutilator. It's like a monster truck you can pour into your face. I don't know why I keep referencing Power Thirst and Brondo so much. So much fun. Oh yeah, the Japanese karaoke bars are like this, you know? Huh? Uh, how did it end up like this? My voice trembles slightly. How did it end up like this? Come on, Asuka. Stop talking gibberish and answer the questions. Wait, wait, wait. Mizukuya, this is a karaoke booth, you know? It's a place where you're supposed to sing and enjoy yourself, right? I'm well aware of that. Then why do I have my test worksheet spread out on the table? It's obvious. There's not a, oh yeah, there is not a trace of hesitation in Miss Sakuya's gaze as she looks down at me. She speaks as if to bring down the blade of justice on my head. It's because this is a study meeting that happens to be held in a karaoke booth. But I don't wanna. I don't wanna have to come all this way to karaoke just to study. I don't wanna. Miss Itsuki, who was holding the microphone, laughs loudly, drowning out my desperate protest. Tee hee. Oh. That's hilarious! Hey, Princess, we're allowed to do as we want, right? Yes, please do refrain from making a ruckus, though. It'll be greatly appreciated. Gotcha! Alright, let me just turn the volume down a little. Here I go. She presses buttons on the karaoke remote with the smoothness of someone used to using it. Okay. It's unfair that only Mizutsuki gets to sing. This is discrimination against pink haired girls. It's distinction. Just so you know, in terms of book study, Itsuki has better grades than me. She's probably top in our class. Asuka, while in the memory while the memory is still fresh in your head, you need to focus on reviewing the mistakes you made. That way the memory will take root and it'll be harder for you to forget. I can't brim myself to tell her that I wouldn't mind forgetting. Uh but with all this singing going on around me, how am I supposed to remember anything? Oh, I thought it'd be cool if she was actually singing during this segment, but I guess she's not. If you concentrate enough, you won't be able to hear it. It's not a problem. But, 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 my shining wings of freedom! Regarding those, Miss Sakuya laughs coldly. Teehee, I'll rip them off for you. Scary! Just imagining that makes my back hurt. I'm joking. But if I invited you to a regular study meeting, you would have run away, right? And now probably would have would have gone easy on you. It was a trap! Yes, it was, and... Wah! Squinty face. Mizutsugi hands uh, pause halfway through choosing a song. You shouldn't... Well, you should have been suspicious when you said she wasn't interested in singing, but would take along. Exactly, I gave you a hint. How, how am I supposed to analyze everything you say? I quiver. All right, next question. Just then the door opened. Now who had gone to the drink bar returns. There she is. I've brought drinks for everyone. Oh, thanks. Then, thank you now. I'm sorry for making you bring them. Not at all. Here, sis. Cold green tea. I brought diet cola for you, Miss Itsuki. Iced tea for you, Miss Sukuya, And an orange juice for me. And now help me. I heard Itsuka. Wait, I heard Asuka, that you on your first day of school, you declared you would become an independent of your sister. Now. <laughs> She was curious and I asked, and asked a lot of questions. Oh dear. Great reading. Well, studying in a karaoke booth could make for a good change of pace, maybe. It's not good at all. I might it might be a change of pace, but, but it's a bad one. My future is hopeless. Only humanity. <laughs> she has such a beautiful voice. <laughs> Which is funny because I gave her this voice. You know weird expressions, dummy girl. 
You can say whatever you like. Once you finish all the questions, you can sing to your heart's content. By the time I finish all this, I'm pretty sure I'll be an old lady. Oh no! My big sister is an old lady. I'm sure you'd be adorable, she glows. Uh, it's not the point. How long are you planning on taking to finish this? Mm -hmm. You Osashi sisters! Asuka is one thing, but you're pretty hilarious as well, little Osashi! Haha, <laughs> thanks! At this rate, I probably won't even be able to sing one song! I want to sing songs like Beyond Rain Castle, You Hill, and Love Bar. Is that supposed- are those references to something? Are those real songs? Are those like Japanese pop songs that are good? I've never heard of any of them. You're- uh, wait, you're an Ekka music fan? If you want to sing, then hurry up and finish this here. You're mean! I see this is all the hatred and gloominess I can muster from deep down inside of me. But Miss Sakuya seems unperturbed, totally fine, unyielding. In fact, she seems like she's almost enjoying herself. She looks at me on the next installment of Nurse Love Addiction. We're going to find out what's happening at the karaoke bar. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next Greatest Hits.